going on everybody it's your boy dj 2k nitro man i just wanted to sit here and have a light discussion with some of y'all i know my page is all over the place at times you know i do uh i drop some gambling stuff i talk some relationship kind of stuff geared mainly towards the fellas uh i have some music stuff uh so kind of all over the place but the point is you're here you're rocking with me. I'm trying to grow this page, trying to um, enhance it. I have so much I want to say, but it's so, so little time to kind of say it a lot of times. And I think this is very helpful to the fellow man. Whether if you want to be a DJ, whether if you're looking for the love of your life, looking to maybe play the field, not sure what type of equipment you want to play with or use. I, I think oh, also too, gambling with games to play with games not to play i think i can help you with all of that in a lot of ways you know i could just improve in a lot of areas and in, in the things i just spoke about so but today's video is about mpd and particularly with the ladies sorry ladies i'm gonna bring this up sorry 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 i know i know i know i love y'all but i have to speak on it because it's just you know a lot but um, for those that know me or don't know me, you know, I've talked to and deal with a lot of people, mostly women, for the most part. You know, I got I got guy friends, uh, you know, my homeboys for a long, long time. So, excuse me. So they tell me things. I experience things. I read things. I hear things. But one thing is for sure that and i and i thought about where it comes from so I, i'm gonna give some insight as to why as i speak on it too i'm not gonna just gonna speak out my behind but i'm just gonna speak on what i feel is the root cause of this and mpd is particularly with our ladies man so those of you that don't know i'm referring to narcissism it, and this word gets thrown around a lot, particularly to the guys. Women will say, oh, he's a narcissist, he's a narcissist, narcissist. I, I'm really struggling to believe that a lot, that that's the case. Although there are, there are men who are narcissists. I will not dispute that at all. There are, there are those that exist. Have I come in contact with them? Not that I could say for sure that this guy has a high level of narcissism, besides maybe one or two guys over, my, over the course of my life. But the women these days is rampant, boy. And that's, I'm not saying just to talk up my ass like a lot of people say. Like you see on these dating shows or whatever, they talk about, oh, why did you break up? Oh, he was a narcissist. Oh, he was a narcissist. Was a... Not saying it's not true, but I don't, I haven't come across that many dudes that are high in the narcissism spectrum, high on it, as compared to the women. I, and I'm gonna talk on it. So I, I bring that up to say, man, it's, it's, fellas, you gotta really be careful, man. You really, really, really gotta do background checks in a way on these women, man, and know the signs of narcissism as a whole from the medical term. I'm not saying, just oh she's women that have ways that are narcissistic for sure I'm not gonna dispute that they have a lot of ways I and mean, that's fine i'm not disputing that like i like a lady that thinks highly of herself you know wants to put her best portrait of herself forward you know wants what's best for her in a lot of ways that's fine i have no issues with that but it it there comes a point where it's excessive and it's destructive and it's uh gonna cause a lot of problems particularly what you see which doesn't get spoken about men that deal with these narcissistic women that are nice guys really nice guys and then they get caught up with a woman that is highly narcissistic might even be not might even be classified as a narcissist by the, the medical term if they were ever to be uh clinically diagnosed so i was one of those guys that's why i know this and that's why i can speak on it i was one of those guys 
deal with a, a highly narcissistic chick on a few occasions. Because myself, I'm, I'm more of an empath than what you maybe would think or not. Now, I've learned to understand myself better so I know how to deal with certain aspects of myself that maybe invites these type of people into your space. But we're men too, so we're going to see something nice and we're going to want it and we're going to go after it. That's that's just our nature. But see, a lot of women notice and they use that to their advantage to get things out of certain guys. And maybe at some point in time it was me. I was one of those certain guys. But they're out there. And yeah, maybe, maybe I'm referring to it. Maybe, oh, you was a little simple. So maybe back in my day, it was I didn't know any better. Maybe you could talk about that in another video. I know you better. I have my simp simpy ways or simpy, simpy times and stuff like that. So that's why it's important, fellas. Do not be simps, man. You can't, like, simp is going to, being a simp is going to get you in a world of trouble. I'm not saying be a jerk, be an asshole, be mean to people. That's not what I'm saying. But just don't be a simp. And if you want, I could break down what that means and how you could do better if you want. I could break that down and, and try to not be that type of man. But anyway, yes, these women are out here in mass quantity these days, man. It's really sad. And there'd be some beautiful women. There'd be women like you want to marry them. You want to love on them. You want to give them the world. But they, they're just broken. They're broken people. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, they're broken. Narcissistic people are not in touch with their soul. They're going to always do things that's going to be destructive to you. They're going to take, take, take. They're, they're vampire. They suck the life out of you. Literally. They suck, suck you dry and throw you away. And then come back to you to try to, once you regain your strength, your energy, they'll come back and try to suck you again. This is rampant these days and it's sad and i'm talking from a medical standpoint i'm not talking from just you know some woman just woke up one day said she wanted to just be a bad girl and do all this no they're out there in mass quantity and you got to be careful man and you got to see the warning signs in these type of women that exist this is why I tech for the most part i don't really go for nines and tens but there'll be five six sevens that have mpd like to a high capacity meaning they will have little to no empathy for you or your circumstance or your situation all they care about is themselves that's it that's all they care about how can you do for me and see how i'm talking about these things and everybody's like oh this is just typical it is so rampant it's ridiculous and also too they also too what comes with it they can't take no criticism and no type of accountability what, what am i talking it sounds so reminiscent of the things that a lot of guys in these spaces talk about with the women but they're not understanding they're not putting two and two together with the narcissism there's a lot of narcissism real 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 narcissism clinically narcissism with the women these days i'm not saying all but there's a lot of women that are impacted by npd and it's sad it's really sad but guys don't know they think oh feminism oh uh just programming from this there literally might be a clinical uh issue with our women that needs to be diagnosed from a medical standpoint from a medical standpoint seriously because even even too somewhat of narcissism is like doing the same thing over and over expecting different result man that's that's insanity and I'm saying it's just only women, but I don't, I'm talking about the women today. Only the women today. Yeah, I, I was dressed to fellas. I have no problem dressing to fellas. But we're talking about what I see that's out there. And that guys, I don't think, are understanding what exists. Even some of the ladies that don't understand themselves, what, what the, how they conduct. Maybe they do. They don't care. But the, the point is, I see it. 
I've dealt with it. I researched narcissism. I was dealing with a narcissist, a, a medically narcissist, probably twice, three times over, but I didn't know. I didn't know any better, but I know now. How did I, how did I figure it out? I, I just did the, did, did the research, dealing with certain things, type it in, and narcissism start coming out. Oh, she was doing this, she was doing that, she was doing love bombing, this, the, the, whole, the whole spiel. So I was like, oh, snap. I was probably dealing with a narcissist. Now, you can't diagnose, self-diagnose unless you're a doctor, but she fits the bill. Act like a duck, quack like a duck, it's a duck. So I know what I'm kind of talking about when it comes to this kind of kind of stuff. And you see how that some of our women act very narcissistic. And people, other people see it and call it out all the time, too. And then, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a male narcissist. I mean, not that I don't like thought names, but Jared, Derek Jackson has a male, in my mind, is a male narcissist. <laughs> So, I, I mean, I think he is personally. And I'm sure there's others, peop, others, other men like him that you can name that are like that. But not to dispute him, this is not about him. This is just about most women that I've come in contact with lately. And what I see is rampant. It's really rampant. And it's, and it's, it's, it's an issue because these are the women that a lot of times are raising the next generation so this is why you have this entitlement issue going on all these all these kids is entitled oh i deserve this i want that i get this I, where do you think it come from where do you think it come from i deserve i deserve i deserve all that all that mental where do you think where do you think that comes from who do you think is teaching them that narcissistic parent could raise a narcissistic child even though they don't go through the same steps that makes the parent a narcissist to begin with if you know what i'm trying to say and what, what and, and we're gonna get to that right in this video what makes what makes a narcissistic person what creates them abandonment oh i've been abandoned maybe you've been abused an sa or just abused and you just have no other outlet for like to, to support yourself because you, you, you've been abandoned, you have an abandonment issues. So it, it, it cultivates a narcissistic mentality. I can only depend on myself. Only got me to worry about. And you, you develop this superiority complex. Where did that come from? Especially with the women, these simps kissing up to these girls. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so this. Giving them just, just, just because they're a woman, giving them things just because with no, with no type of like, well, like, like, you didn't deserve. You just get it because you're a woman. On top of the what I what I really do feel it creates a lot of these narcissistic chicks is the SA stuff that go on. A lot of it don't get reported. A lot of it don't get reported like it should. And this is maybe even incest stuff going on, which is disgusting in its own self. But this is what's going on. This is the cycle we're we're dealing with that create these women. So you got the simps, you got the SA, you got the abandonment. For, by whatever reason you got maybe you know single mother raising mother go to work and leaving a child alone this is just a hypothetical leave child alone she he or she's abandoned but we talking about a woman so she's abandoned so she feels abandoned you know you never know what the relationship with who's in the house and they maybe abuse the abuse the girl boom she's gonna grow up to become a narcissist at some point in her life as she grows up have a disdain for men have this entitlement going on with her this elevation of self she might be a mal mal malignant narcissist or she might be a grandiose narcissist she's not gonna take no accountability everything is everybody else's fault because you're never treated she never got the the therapy or the help she needed she never got the support she needed that's why it's really important for there to be two people in that house and a village to raise a child and a village of healthy-minded people not like not people that have a sadistic mentality raising these children too because these people create these narcissists you could have a village and then someone is doing something inappropriate with the child and then boom you have you, you you're, you're setting this child up for failure as as he or she grows and now i'm talking more both but with we're, we're talking to women so now now you're setting her up for failure you have all these issues that she don't know how to deal with. Nobody's giving her proper treatment because it's hush, hush, quiet, quiet. And boom. 
she becomes an adult and she has a condition that she don't know that she maybe had maybe she aware maybe she's not aware she, she had these issues she can't keep a man she can't keep relationships she's entitled she's nasty she's rude she 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 throws away people the narcissism is real out here man we got to do some more investigation into this this is not i don't think it's really being treated properly or even spoken about like on a, on a medical scale we're just saying oh these women ain't ish these women are this these women are that but why who creates them like that it's the house the home setting you you, you is it, is it, i think that's what that's where a lot of it comes from i'm talking about the blatant narcissistic women i'm bl the blatant ones not the ones that they grow they they have a good household there's nothing going on and then they just get because of simps just mainly because of simps so they feel like they can get away with stuff they just because that 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 you know some women are just made like that you know they they, they could just tell they could just know they get oh i can get away with anything because i'm a female i'm cute i'm just they just they just know it they don't have to go through nothing like uh like too traumatic and they just know that they could just get away with murder because how pretty they are for example and that's that's a different story for the but i'm talking about the medical clinical sense of the word narcissism not some stuff i just throw around. i don't i don't call a chick narcissistic or narc unless she deserves it like damn this girl is really a narcissist like she will love you and then throw you away once you get what she gotta get she has a pattern of being with a guy and discarding it's a pattern it's an endless line of dudes endless line never stops might even have some some uh history of uh, a record criminal record this is what's out there. that's why you gotta do your research man fellas if you're watching this so yeah i'm, I'm gonna end it right there if you have any other things that you want to um add to this discussion we could touch on it a little deeper again we could talk on a little more i just wanted to let let y'all know about what's going on out there these days man it's crazy just be careful fellas don't be scared to let go of a chick if she's acting up just do what you got to do be a man you know and let it go like that have your boundaries keep your self-respect no simping all right well anyway i'm i go by the name dj 2k nitro man i appreciate you watching please like comment subscribe below peace